my first ever live, real, commissioned art piece of the world ever that isn't just a print. All right, welcome to the channel, everyone. Uh, this is going to be a big time first for me. As you can see collected around me, I started getting into the sorcery art with the prints, uh, which are a lot more manageable and a little easier to get than actual sorcery art and originals. Um, but uh, lo and behold, over the past year, I've grown a little bit, made some friends, uh, and I reached out to my favorite artist, Matthias Frisk. And uh, him and I, we worked something out over the past year. Uh, I've been talking to him since 2023 about it. He's a very, very busy guy. Um, but over the past year, we've worked together on a little bit of a project. And by we, I mean him. Um, and it, it ended up with this. My first ever live, real, commissioned art piece of the world ever that isn't just a print. And uh, for me, it's super special because... Uh, it has to do with my channel and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much, Matthias, for uh, taking the time when the paint's drying, whatever the case may be after dinner in the morning. I, I don't know how you did it, but thank you so much for piecing this together for me. And the other important part about this video is actually opening the damn thing. You told me it's going to be the most difficult booster pack I've ever opened. And I believe he's right. So let me give you guys a, a kind of a kind of a view of what we're dealing with here. It's, it's a wooden frame, completely wooden. Uh, Sandwich between very hard pressed card board, not like cardboard, but like uh, fiber board, I guess is what I'm looking for. And it's actually nailed together. So um, my tools for today are a knife to deal with the saran wrap situation, um, a flat head screwdriver to, um, I guess, kind of pry in and start getting the nails up, and then a hammer. <laughs> Who would have thought those are the <laughs> tools you'd be using to opening up, opening up actual art, but here we are. Um, but I'm going to start actually with the uh, invoice because I have literally not opened anything on here. I've only received it from the delivery guy and that's about it. So I'm going to start with the invoice. So yeah, it's an illustration for me. Another interesting fact about this commission is... Um, when working with Matthias, we kind of came up with a budget for the piece and being that he's such a sorcery uh, advocate and actual player, um, I played, I paid with money and I paid with sorcery cards. So that, was, that it's not actually on the invoice of sorcery cards, but that was part of the deal on how I paid for this piece. So that I think also makes it kind of extra special and I thought that was kind of cool. So let's start getting this uh, shrink wrap off. Again, Mike, if you're watching this, and I'm doing this wrong. I'm so sorry. Do not cringe. Shrink wrap's coming off, which is good. Let's be delicate here. Because I want to show you guys beyond the, the wrap. So, all right, let's get the wrap out of here. See, I don't know if my camera's going to focus on this, but as you can see, pretty hardened fiberboard and actual wood. So it's literally like a coffin that it's in, um, which is pretty neat. And then I guess this is going to be the hard part. One, not knocking the table over. And two, getting these nails started while I don't step on sharp stuff. So I don't think that's going to... Oh, it is. It worked! First nail, we did it. Where do I put it? <laughs> All right. All right, folks, last nail. Here we go. You know, Tyus is probably laughing his ass off at me right now. We did it, folks. All right. Moment of truth. Okay. Don't cut. It's like one of those boxes at work that says don't use sharp objects and we do it anyways. I'm just kidding. I will not do that, Matthias. I will not do that. All right. This here. I'm not sure what this pouch thing is. 
Oh, ha! Ah, don't cut. Got it. Um, I don't know how hard I'm allowed to pull on this. No oh God, what is this? Certificate of Authenticity? I don't know what this is. I think it's a sketch. Oh, it is a sketch. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's my it's my sleeves, guys. So yeah, if you guys saw my sleeves, check it out. Oh, Glare City. Maybe that's better. That is so cool. Thank you, Matthias. All right. Uh, all right. Got one more. Don't cut warning. Show you guys. <laughs> don't cut. Do not cut, folks. Oh my God. There's even more. Don't know where to start opening this without cutting it. Uh, it's so fragile, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this without cutting. I, I'm assuming you mean don't cut down and into the product. All right, um, I know this is like literally the definition of not following instructions, but I'm not gonna be cutting in. It's already got such a, I know this is kind of weird, but a unique smell to it. I don't know if that's just the, the bubble wrap I'm smelling or the paint. I can't, okay. So let's see if there's a way to... Again, I don't know how I'm supposed to defeat the uh, raid boss that is packing tape if I can't use blades. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. oh, it's happening. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. Okay. It's, it's here. Um, oh, man. I've been waiting for this so long. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. All right. All right. All right. So we got the back. I, oh, I can see the front. Okay. So the back, I'm not even going to look at the front just yet. It's the um, Matthias Frisk Art um I think those are two foxes like eating each other's tails or something. Stamp of authenticity. Um, well, his signature, of course. And then what the piece is, and it's Gambler's Cub 2024. And it's it's so cool. I know you guys are just so bad at me right now for not turning this around. But without further ado, here it comes. Bear with me. I want to be able to pick it up with both hands the other way. So here is the Gamblers Club 2024. <laughs> so my uh, my request to Matthias was um, I wanted to have my Gamblers Club kind of in a dark, I like the Brian Smith, Matthias Frist, Frist dark environment. And uh, basically I pitched to him, I want a cabin maybe in the woods, maybe in a different kind of landscape and uh, a stake in the ground that said Gambler's Club and then kind of run with it from there. And um, here we are, folks. This is the Gambler's Club 2024. Let me get a little closer for you. Here we go. I know there's glare everywhere. I apologize. Let's... There we go. That is awesome. 
and it's so like if you guys haven't seen artwork up in, like up close and personal like just being able to see the brush strokes and everything that just makes it so real and in your face is just incredible so um i'm gonna be here for the next few hours probably doing this so <laughs> i think that might be a good time to end the video um thank you so much for joining this journey with me um thank you so much for Tyus risk for chipping away at this for the past year or so um, i'm so happy to have it and i can't wait to put it on my youtube cover photo and um, i don't know maybe the next design a card challenge that's right jace that's where it's going um <laughs> but uh just just so happy to have my own one of one piece uh for my channel uh between i want to call my friend matthias help me out here um it's just just so much it's so incredible i'm so happy to have this again thank you guys for tuning in and <laughs> catch you next time